Hey, hello everyone. I'm Bruno from the .NET Cloud Advocate team, and today we are going to talk about the new OpenAI.NET library. We announced the stable release about this, and a couple of people asked me, hey, how can I use it? Can you share some sample codes? So this is a two minute video or maybe a little longer about how we can do a hello world here. So let me share my screen. And first of all, if you are looking for this, it's super easy. Just go and search for the .NET blog, and you're going to find the official announcement. It's going to guide you to the .NET package in NuGet. Everything is there. By the way, there are a couple of features right now that they are in, in preview, and they are going to be on the pre-release one. I think the assistance and other, but most of the stuff is in the current one, the 2.0. And how we can use it? Let's write a small hello world here. So I have a clean console application here. Let me go here. I'm old school. I am going to add here the library, open AI. There it is. I have the library. And hey, this is super important. Once I have the library, I can start using it. And the code is super simple. Let's, first of all, I am going to do open AI dot chat. This is what I am going to use. And then let's create a chat client. So let's do chat client, client. Is going to be new. And here we are going to have to define a couple of things. First of all, the model and then the API key. I am going to use for this one a GPT 4.0. Oh, let's clean a little code so you can see it better. So I'm going to use here a GPT 4.0 oh, and key. Let's create a temporary key in my test key. So let's create a new demo here, create secret key. I have it here, and I am going to put my key. That's it, super long key, please. I'm going to delete this, this one later. And then what we need to do is create a completion because we want to complete the chat. So let's do a chat completion. Let's do completion. And then we are going to do client.complete chat. And let's write something short. So what is the capital of Canada, an example? Super quick question. And of course, let's write this. Uh, let's do completion. It's not choices here. I can't remember this copilot is, is content and it's not message is text. So once this is up and running, we have it there. Let's run it. I have it the console here, but we have the response here. The capital of Canada is Ottawa. So super fine, super fast. And hey, we can even do this if we want to use the completion update. So with the same client, what we are going to do is create, a, I think, a completion update. Oh, sorry, let's do bar completion update. And let's do client.complete chat streaming. And here, let's do something different. Let's ask for. So when we have the, the long story, what we need to do is start to get the streaming updates. So let's do a console.write line. And let's do here, this is the response. And then let's do a for each. We need to do a wait for each. And what we are going to write here is we have the collision date. And here, of course, is content update, sub zero, again, dot text. And I am missing something here, which is the completion of day, complete chat streaming, uh, sync. There it is. So if we run this, I think by default, oh, I put everything. So we see here all of the tokens in a single, in each line. The whole idea here is that Instead of the right line, what we can do is, there it is. We have the full story here of the rabbit, the sun, and more. So you can take a look how, how we can use this. So super easy, super fun, super amazing. This is literally how you can use the OpenAI library for .NET in a very, very simple way. All of the samples are in the .NET page, so you can take a look at the assistance and other stuff there. And I hope you like it. This is a very, very fast one. And to record in a Sunday, it's also a fun one. Goodbye, everyone. And remember, you can subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Goodbye.